What's good, cutie gang? I'm still Giran, your friend from the internet, and you, my friend, are watching Artifacts, the cool stories behind the cool stuff of Quantic Dream. And today's item is... Don't know much at all. The very first game ever developed by the studio. The thing that started everything for Quantic Dream. As you can see, there's two versions of the game. One for Northern America, under the name of Omicron, the Nomad Soul, and the European one, that's just called the Nomad Soul. Completely different, isn't it? Those two versions, but there's also a special collector edition box. There's a special booklet, a t-shirt, and a portfolio with special artwork. What you see is very rare. There's only 5,500 copies of this box. Despite the alternative artwork, the story is the same. This is the SF game in a cyberpunky type of universe, where you investigate a series of murders in the fictional city of Omicron. And you can embody 30 different characters. And man, creating this game, that was a journey. Everything started in 1994. At that time, David Cage was still a musician, but he decided to develop a video game with his friends. He wanted to create an open world with endless possibilities where you could go everywhere, drive loads of vehicles, fight and meet all sorts of characters. And he managed to convince five people to follow him in his adventure, to end up with a demo, a very good demo, that he presented to several studios, and told him that it was a great idea, but way too ambitious and impossible to pull off. So after hearing impossible, David naturally decided to keep going anyway. And three years later, thanks to his job as a video game soundtrack composer, he had enough money to fund six months of development. He went to London to pitch the game to the studio Eidos Interactive. That's written here. It was a make or break type of situation. So he showed them the demo and they immediately offered him a contract. That's how David was able to create Quantic Dream. And two years later in 1999, The Nomad Soul was released on PC. The game was very well received by the gaming community who praised the storyline and the graphic design, but also the soundtrack. As a musician himself, David wanted to work with the best people available to make the score. He ended up working with David Bowie. I mean, David Bowie. He could. He worked for a full year on the soundtrack alongside his guitar player, Reeves Gabriels. The moral of the story is that always believe in your dreams and also never say it's impossible to David Cage. I did it myself. I told him it was impossible for him to beat me at foosball. Rookie mistake. I cried. But that's another story. See you next time, cutie gang.